Hello and welcome to a free tutorial by Nicola Dean from The Flock. Today we will be making a gingerbread man decoration. I am happy for you to make items from this tutorial for personal use or to sell. All I ask is, if you share what you have made, that you add a note to say that you made it from a free tutorial from The Flock and add a link to The Flock's Facebook group. Please also be aware that the tutorial and its content is protected by copyright and must not be copied or shared without prior permission. Thank you. Let's get started. To make your own gingerbread man decoration, you will need your needle felting surface, your needle felting needles, you will need a shaping needle, I like to use a 38 gauge triangular needle for this and a finishing needle. I like to use a 42 gauge needle for this. You will also need your finger protectors if you want to use them. I will not be using finger protectors in this tutorial so that you can clearly see what I am doing, but I advise that you wear yours. You will also need a gingerbread man shaped cookie cutter you will also need some gingerbread coloured fibres as either a top or carded. Finer fibres such as merino or corridale work best for this project. In addition to these, you will need a small amount of merino or corridale in white, black and an accent colour. I have chosen this dark red. You will also need some strong thread, some decorative thread a long sewing needle with a large enough eye for your decorative thread and some scissors. First, if you are using a top for your gingerbread colour, you will need to prepare this ready for use. If you are using carded fibre, you can skip this step. Pull off small bits of fibre and mess them up. Keep going until your fibre looks like this. Once you have enough fibre, you are going to gradually layer it inside your cookie cutter. Stab this with your shaping needle into the edges so that it fills the shape of the cookie cutter. Be careful not to stab too deeply as you do not want to stab it right into the foam. Keep layering and stabbing until the cookie cutter is full to a depth of approximately 1cm and is medium firm but not fully felted. Once your cookie cutter is full and feels medium firm, slide the cookie cutter off. Next, you need to carefully lift the shape off of your foam. Turn it over, then carefully push it back into the cookie cutter so you can felt the opposite side. Again, felt this until it is medium firm but not fully felted. Then slide the cookie cutter off. 
It is now time to refine the edges of the shape. Using your shaping needle, stab along the edges to felt them. As you stab, you are aiming for making the edges more rounded. You can also stab the surface of the shape to felt it further and help firm it up. Once you have firmed up the surface and rounded the edges, it is time to swap to your finishing needle. Continue to stab all over the shape until all the fine ends of fibre have been felted and the shape is firmly felted. When you have finished shaping the gingerbread man, it should look like this. Now we are going to add some details. For this, you will need your finishing needle and your black, white and accent colour fibres. First, we are going to use the black to make the eyes. Pull off the tiniest bit of black and break this into smaller pieces and mess them up. Then split this in half. Roll each half into a small ball. Place each ball one at a time where you would like each eye to be. Then stab them in place so they are even. Next, take a very thin piece of white and twist it. Place one end where you want the smile of the mouth to start and stab it in place. Then gradually guide the twist across the face, stabbing in place as you go, creating the smile.
Next, take a tiny bit of your accent colour and break this into smaller pieces and mess them up. Split this into three equal amounts. Roll each third into a small ball. Place each ball one at a time where you would like each button to be. Then stab them in place so they are even. Finally, we are going to add some details to the arms and legs so it looks like icing. Just like you did with the mouth, using thin pieces of twisted white fibre, position it across each arm and leg and stab it in place in a zigzag pattern. I did a zigzag on the front and a straight line on the back. Repeat this on all the limbs. Your gingerbread man should now look like this. Now we are going to sew the strong thread through the gingerbread man and then attach the decorative string for hanging. First, you need to thread your needle with your strong thread. Then we are going to push the needle up through the gingerbread man and out through the top of his head. leaving a long tail. Then we are going to push the needle back through just across from where you came out. The needle needs to exit just across from where you originally started. Then put your finger inside the loop and pull the needle off the thread. Now insert the needle into the loop, this will stop us losing it. Turn the gingerbread man on his head, then tightly tie a knot in the loose ends of thread.
Trim off the excess thread. Pull on the needle quite hard to sink the knot into the felt. Remove the needle and re-thread it with your decorative thread. Push your needle through the loop and pull the decorative thread through it. Tie the decorative thread in a loop with a knot. Trim off the excess thread. If you can still see the knot of your strong thread, you can use a small piece of gingerbread coloured fibre to cover this by stabbing it in place. You should now have a beautiful gingerbread man decoration ready to hang. To ensure you do not miss future informational videos or tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. You can also come and join the Phlox Needle Felting community on Facebook. There is a link to this in the description. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. As explained at the beginning, I am happy for you to make items from this tutorial for personal use or to sell. All I ask is, if you share what you have made, that you add a note to say that you made it from a free tutorial from the Flock, and add a link to the Flock's Facebook group. Please also be aware that the tutorial and its content is protected by copyright and must not be copied or shared without prior permission. Thank you.